As I sat and watched 30 minutes of trailers again before a new movie, I thought to myself, wow, there's no superhero movies to be found anymore. I also thought to myself, wow, I wasted 30 minutes watching movie trailers again. My life is rich. But then I went back to my previous thought. Where is the superhero stuff? Where's Marvel been? And who really cares anymore? Let's talk about it. Robert Downey Jr. recently sat down for an interview and the conversation strayed to the MCU and specifically Iron Man. Would he return to the franchise if prompted? He quickly stated, yeah, of course I would. It's, it's baked into my DNA now. This is who I am. It's part of me. And while that is good for him, certainly good for his bank account, I'm pretty sure he's almost a billionaire based on Tony Stark residuals alone, RDJ had his time in the sun. It was beautiful. It was glorious. And we moved on because he moved on. The character died. A thousand apologies. A second ago, I said RDJ. That stands for Robert Downey Jr. I think I'm probably the first person to ever say that in the history of the world. So it was probably confusing uh, because I was the first person to ever say RDJ. Anyway, my point is, oh, speak of the devil. We have RDJ on the phone. Uh-huh. Uh, yes, thank you. Thank you. This is a TV remote. He just said that I should tell you to subscribe to the channel, Adam Does Movies, as I post tons of movie reviews, roasts, rants, live streams. Every week, would love to have you stick around. Thanks, Robert. I mean, again, that's a controller. I really enjoyed the MCU. I know it's popular to rag on it, to hate on it outright, to say it was never good, or we're somehow changing history. That's silly. That's what the children do. And if you're one of those people that never jumped on the MCU train, fine. That's fair enough. But I was definitely on it. I had a great time with the films. Even the ones that didn't work promised something more in the future. It led to something glorious. Infinity War and Endgame. And I'm no, I'm not going to do some history lesson. I remember, I remember being in theaters day fun for Thor Ragnarok and the people in the crowds cheering in Infinity War. No, we're not doing that. We all know these movies. Obviously, these guys still want to push this shit and make a bunch of money, but they're losing money because they made a lot of dumb choices. Mainly getting rid of all the main characters and gender swapping for reasons that they thought would work but have fallen on their face. And now I think they're scrambling to kind of decide what to do next. Their big bad guy, Jonathan Majors, shit the bed. He's, he's in jail. Or he's not in jail, I'm sorry. He was sentenced to like a year of something. Doesn't matter. I don't I don't follow celebrities and, and all that stuff. It, it, it's boring to me. All I know is he got in some trouble. He got in some hot water. So their villain character is, is probably going to get replaced or completely thrown out. And they're going to start with someone else. They have things coming up. Blade is scheduled. It's been scheduled 15 years now. It just keeps getting pushed back. Scripts get rewritten. It's a disaster. You have Fantastic Four with a cast now that's very uninspired. There are things on the horizon, but I don't think anyone really gives a shit. At least not in the way it used to be. Obviously, there's still a ton of Marvel fans. MCU is still strong. It's just not as strong as it used to be. So I'm going to throw out what I think is probably for the best. Throw it out. Start from scratch. Reboot. And I'm not saying reboot in the way that we dismiss everything that came before. But I'm also kind of saying that if you want to keep the MCU going, if you want to keep this shared universe going, let's start over from the X-Men. Don't tie them into the disaster that's still going on. We need these stories to be simplified. We don't want to feel out of the loop because we didn't watch season three of whatever show's going on. No, we just want to focus on individual stories. So I say start over with the X-Men being the first thing. The multiverse has been established. Use it appropriately. This is a get out of jail free card. You already told audiences that there are different worlds with different Tony Starks and they could be played by the same actor even. But it's a different universe. So take that universe, start with the X-Men, introduce other characters as it goes on in different films and we can keep it simple. Comic books do it all the time. There's new versions that come out. There's different interpretations of the characters. Let's do that. DC's doing that right now with James Gunn. I think now is an appropriate time for MCU to step back 
kind of scrap everything they have. I know they won't. This is just my thoughts. And just get back to delivering quality material without having to check a bunch of boxes and virtue signal. Just get back to basics. Make good stories with interesting characters. And because again, we have the multiverse, there's nothing saying that 10 years down the road, you don't Indiana Jones, Robert Downey Jr.'s ass back into the limelight, dust off that Iron Man suit, have him fly out for one last ride, uh, you tie it all together in some disastrous, glorious, <laughs> giant endgame experience where the new cast and the old cast comes together in perfect nostalgia. Sure, why not? Have a ball. But for now, let's get things done right. So that alienated audience that used to be on board comes back again, feels wanted again. A lot of the last phase of the MCU fell on its face. It didn't make money or it barely eked by. The Marvels lost a bunch. Ant-Man 3, Quantum Shitty, I lost a bunch of money. Thor 4 made a good chunk of change, I'm sure, but not a lot of people like that one. I certainly don't. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 is like the only one that was able to muster out a decent box office and get people out to theaters. But again, that's because Guardians does feel isolated even though it is part of the grander scheme. This is still basically a small Avengers unit headed by one guy with a vision. It doesn't play into the larger narrative in the same way that Ant-Man does and some of these other characters. And that's why it works. Get back to that. Make these stories individualized. Give them their own personality. And when the time comes, you bring them together. But they get so up their own ass with tying in character cameos into the Disney Plus shows and milking all this stuff out instead of taking their time. And they're obviously listening a bit because that's why there's no trailers for new superhero movies coming out anymore. They are pulling back. They are reevaluating things. And hopefully what I'm saying is kind of what they're already thinking. And I'm just yelling into the wind. It's all, it's all known. And that would be great. But those are my thoughts. Where are you at with the MCU? Are you completely checked out? Or do you think Disney can still turn this ship in the right direction? It's not completely shattered into the rocks yet, I don't think. There's plenty of stories to tell. There's plenty of interesting characters left on the board that can be either rejuvenated or just brought back to life after a couple failed outings. Chris Hemsworth still got a couple good movies in him as Thor. Chris Evans, I wouldn't mind seeing back as Captain America. There are stories we can still do with these people. But I think that it's time to maybe put them aside and just focus on one entity so X-Men would be where I would go. Let's really build up the X-Men and make it awesome. Thor, Hemsworth, and Evans, they got plenty going on. We bring them back with Downey five or ten years down the road. All right, We give them their, their final ride in the sunset on horseback or whatever the hell they do. I'm fine with that. Let me know though, are you in, you out, you indifferent? Please like the video. Again, I would love it if you subscribed. I post tons of conversations, roasts, movie reviews every single week. It would be great if you stuck around. If you really like what I'm doing, patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. There's a $1 tier even you can start with. You can work your way up. There's a lot of exclusive videos on that and it really helps me keep the lights on here. Finally, Second brand new channel, Adam Does Rants. It's all non-movie stuff, but it's still very much my personality. I'm not going into anything hardcore in politics or religion. It's just fun observational humor that hopefully most people can relate to. I want to keep that thing growing, get that making money at some point. So please head on over there, subscribe, and uh, maybe I'll see you around. Take care.